Okay, good morning students. We shall pass on to problem number 14 today. Kanchana Limited issued 50,000 shares. So, in the books of Kanchana Limited. General entries that we should pass now. What is given that? 50,000 shares of rupees 10 each payable. Number of shares, 50,000 shares issued at the rate of rupees 10. This is on application 1. An allotment file and the first call two, final call also two. This is the four stage how the share value should be paid. Applications were received for 70,000 shares. Applications were received for 70,000 shares. Seventy thousand shares. Okay. The number of shares issued by the company is fifty thousand shares only, but applications received. Received for 70,000 shares. This is a number of shares, 70,000 shares. Applications for 8,000 shares were rejected. Applications rejected. 8,000 shares. So, Remaining applications considered 62,000 shares. The directors and allotment was made proportionately towards remaining applications. So the remaining applications, how much? Remaining applications, 62,000. So, with the 62,000 applications, this 50,000 shares should be allotted. So, how this is allotted proportionately? 25 twos and 31 twos. So, if an applicant asked for 31 shares, he was allotted 25 shares only. This is the meaning of it. That is why I said in the other classes, it is a pro rata allotment. Okay. With this remaining applications, 62,000. But here, shares issued, shares issued, Only 50,000. So, 12,000 share application money excess. Excess share application 12,000 shares. Only for rejected shares, there will be refund. But if it is not rejected, no refund. No refund for this 12,000 share application money. Then what it will be done? It will be adjusted with allotment. Adjusted with allotment. 
this excess share obligation money will be allotted with will be adjusted with the allotment this is up to 12000 so afterwards what happens that out of which 1500 shares both the calls the directors made both the calls and all the amount were received except the final call on 1500 shares 1500 shares final call final call unpaid this is out of these 1500 unpaid calls that is the final call 1200 shares reissued at the rate of rupees h at the rate of rupees h this is the problem this is the summary of the problem that once you go through the question you should find you should the find what is given in the problem i shall once again repeat the same number of shares issued by the company is only 50000 shares but the company received applications for 70000 shares that is 20000 more applications received what the company did company rejected only 8000 shares so the money should be refunded to the applicants yaar and apply pannana avanukku 8000 shares application money thirupi kodutundi even after that how much is excess remaining applications 62000 but the shares issued by the company 50000 so excess share application money 12000 since this 12000 application money is not refunded what will be done that the amount will be adjusted with allotment in the second stage in the next stage that the excess money will be adjusted this is the main idea of this problem after that yes sir hold that who is having 1500 rupees i mean 1500 shares did not pay the final call and what the company did company forfeited all those 1500 shares out of which 1200 shares were reissued at the rate of rupees 8 at the rate of rupees 8 so this is the summary of the question you should be very thorough my dear students when you are asked to write a test you are referring mostly the guides available with you but i tell you i told you so many times there are many mistakes in the guide you go through the video in which i am giving some ideas and i find in some of your tests you are not at all following what i did in some of the problems you have answered what you found in the guide in some i, I won't say all the problems given in the guide are wrong but in a very very few problems the guides did not get the answer book answer but actually the book answer will come since the people who prepared the guide did not know the answer they have given the answer and you are guided wrongly say all the book answers are correct and i taught you by obtaining the book answer bear it in mind so see the video sent to you and make note of it if the answer is different from you are book guide or something else okay you should be very careful in it or else you will be losing the marks okay now we shall continue with this idea 
with this idea, with this, by having all these things in mind, we shall start doing the answer entries, that is the journal entries, by giving the answer. There are how many journal entries you should pass here for application stage to journal entry and for allotment stage, application stage to journal entry, allotment to first call to final call to totally eight journal entries. In addition, for refund one journal entry, so nine, for application money adjusted with the allotment one more journal entry, ten, and for forfeiture of shares one journal entry and for reissue of shares two journal entries totally 13 journal entries we should pass now okay we shall proceed now we shall proceed now passing the journal entries now we shall pass on to the journal entries I will write the journal entries here. My order of writing the journal entry will be different from the order what is given in the guide or book. So my order of writing will be convenient for you. That what we are doing step by step, you should listen and write very carefully. The first one is the application stage. The first stage, application stage. In the application stage, bank account data to share application account. The bank account data to share application account. Share application account. How many share applications were received? 70,000 share applications were received. 70,000 share. 70,000 share applications were received. Application money rupees 1 per share. Therefore, 1 into 70,000, 70,000 we should write. Application money on seventy thousand shares at the rate of rupees one <coughs> received at the rate of rupees one received. What will be the second journal entry for the same application stage? Date, particulars, ledger volume. Debits and credits. I hope I need not write the heading. The same heading we are following here. For this, what, how we should write once again as a matter of revision, I tell you. Where you stop the first journal entry, begin with the second journal entry with this. So, share application account data. to share capital accounts to share capital accounts how much we should write usually in the first journal entry amount will be repeated in the second one also but not here because the application money transferred to share capital must be equal to the number of shares issued by the company only for the money on issued shares can be 
ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ టు షేర్ క్యాపిటల్ ద కంపెనీ ఎవరు షేర్ ఇష్యూ పడ్డానో అవుదా షేర్ క్యాపిటల్ మాత్రం ఉంటుంది సో ఓన్లీ ఫిఫ్టీ థౌసండ్ షేర్ దట్ ఫోర్ ఫిఫ్టీ థౌసండ్ ఇంటూ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ థౌసండ్ విషు ప్రైస్ నరేషన్ అప్లికేషన్ మనీ received on 50000 shares application money received on 15 50000 shares transferred to to share capital share capital this is remember then what about the remaining 20000 share this what i said this is not what the np i am going to pass is not the second stage and we are going to discuss now what happens to those 20000 excess share 20000 share application money excess are illa adu enna panna poranga that is why the instruction is given out of which 8000 share application money was rejected once the share application money is rejected and it must be refunded must be it must be borne in mind it's very important once some application money was rejected applications were rejected the money should be refunded you need not find the word refunded in the problem question la refund endra or word varanona avasiyam illai once it is rejected the money should be refunded what should be the general entry for refund for receipt of application money bank to share application for refund idu vaangradhu thirivu kodumbodhu the reverse general entry of this that is share application account data to bank account share application account data to bank account 8000 share application money refund refund so what it should be 8000 into 1 because application money value 1 8000 this is 8000 now you go to the second stage what should be the second stage second stage is the allotment stage second stage is the allotment stage for allotment stage what you should write i told you in the previous many problems the second will come here the first will go there that is the second entry will become the first one and the first one will go there as a second one i should write the entry first in the second stage what it is share allotment account data to share capital account and that what it should be this will go the bank account data to share allotment account generally what you will do for 50000 shares 50000 shares were only issued by the company therefore 50000 into rupees 5 250000 we should write 
That is uh, two lakhs fifty thousand. Two lakhs fifty thousand. What should be the narration? Like this fifty thousand share application. I mean, allotment money uh, received. We cannot write that the rate of this five. But here we should use the term due share. That is. Allotment money due due at the rate of rupees five on fifty thousand shares on fifty thousand shares. Why we are writing like this? I told you the reason. First stage, the applications will be accepted or considered only if the application money is paid. Therefore, on application stage, only the money will be received. The application will be considered later. Because the money is not the application is considered for no one. That is why this first general entry. So we write the narration received. Later, the application money is transferred to share capital. Since the number of shares issued by the company is only fifty thousand, we have transferred the application money on fifty thousand shares only is transferred or adjusted. But from the second stage, allotment, first call, final call, from. On these three stages, what we should learn? First, general entry is just to, to remind the shareholder to pay the money. Pannatha allotment pannatha kattada. Ab dinne remind pannu thagada. That is why allotment money due due means pending. So you pay the money. So this general entry is a reminder to the shareholders. After seeing this letter, the shareholders will pay the amount, and for that the second general entry. Here, what you will write? Allotment money. Allotment money received. Usually, if we write this, what we will write the same two lakh fifty thousand, two lakh fifty thousand. We can write, but there is a difference here. What? Here already, out of seventy thousand shares, I wrote all the statement there. You should all listen. You can go through the video once again afterwards, and. Out of seventy thousand, eight thousand shares only money refunded. But available shares fifty thousand. So the twelve thousand excess share application money should be adjusted with this allotment. So twelve thousand share application money is transferred to share allotment. What it should be? share application account data to share allotment account this general entry very simple excess of the share application money eh apdi ye allotment ku maatrana so share application account data to Share allotment account. How much it is? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand share application money at the rate of one. One into twelve thousand. Twelve thousand rupees. Then only after minusing this amount, excluding this amount only, the shareholders will pay for two lakh fifty thousand. Twelve thousand rupees already from application money. It is adjusted. Therefore, how much the bank will receive? Only two lakhs thirty-eight thousand rupees. 
actually the bank should have received two lakh fifty thousand rupees from the shareholders. But the shareholders' application money for twelve thousand shares, twelve thousand into one, is with the company. That amount should be adjusted with the next stage, that is the allotment stage. Therefore, twelve thousand into one, twelve thousand rupees is adjusted from application to allotment. That is the excess. application money excess application money adjusted with allotment excess or the application money is allotment pura adjust pani actually so the balance allotment money received We should use the term here. Here we write the excess application money adjusted with the allotment. So we cannot receive the entire two lakh fifty thousand. Therefore, except this twelve thousand only, the company will receive. Therefore, other than this twelve thousand, two lakhs thirty eight thousand only will be received by the bank. We shall go to the third stage, first call. Here, what is the restriction given? All the amount we have received except the final call. It is only on the final call. So there is no problem in the first call. That is the third stage. Share first call account in account. to share capital account first call money due money due at the rate of on 50000 shares At the rate of rupees two, at the rate of rupees two, so two into fifty thousand one lakh we should write one lakh rupees. Now the letter has been sent to the shareholders, reminding them to pay the first call money. So the first call money is due. See after seeing the letter, the shareholders pay the money now. So, bank account data to share first call account. Share first call account. The same because the first call money is fully received. Therefore, we can write one lakh. We can write one lakh. That is first call money received. First call money received. The third stage is over. Then the fourth stage. Fourth stage. Fourth stage. Share final call. The same general entry. Only thing we should change final. Share final call account. Data to share capital account. Share final call account data to share capital account. Narration the same. Final call money due on 
50,000 shares at the rate of rupees 2, the same rupees 2, 2 into 50,000, 1 lakh. The letter reminding the shareholders has been sent now and therefore it is a due. Then what happens? The share final for money received except for 1500 shares. Therefore, bank account data to the same share final for account. Oh. Here, final call money final call money received final call money received in that case what we can do we must write one lakh but what happens when the amount is paid by when the first call money is paid by the shareholders not all the shares were paid except for 1500 shares. For 1500, each final call money to 2 into 1500, 3000 rupees was not paid. Therefore, the bank received only 97,000 rupees. So, for 1500 shares, the final call money at the rate of rupees 2. 2 into 1500, 3000 rupees was not paid. Therefore, 97,000 only was received by the bank. Okay. After this, what the company did? The directors made both the calls and all the amount were received except the final call on 1500 shares which were subsequently forfeited. So, the next journal entry will be for forfeiture. Next journal entry will be for forfeiture. What should be the journal entry for forfeiture? Share, capital account data, to share final call account to forfeited share account to forfeited share account share capital account data to share final call account to forfeited share account in this, this is for forfeiture The narration we can write 1500 shares per feet and for non payment of for non payment of final for money non payment of final for money. Final call money for non payment of final call money 1500 shares per feet for non payment of final call money. Okay, for that share capital account and this forfeited share account are permanent. But this credit entry varies from sum to sum, it depends upon the condition. If final call money is only not paid, you can write to share final call account. If both the call money are not paid, combined together, you can write share first and final call account. If both the calls were not paid, but it is separately given, what you should write? 
In addition, the allotment in money is not also paid, then what you should write? Share allotment account to share first call account to share final call account. And this entry purely depends upon the condition given in the problem. In this problem, only the final call money was not paid and therefore we have written here. How to fill this return entry? There are 1500 shares which were perfeited. So what is the total actual value of 1500 shares? 1500 into 10. 1500 into 10, 15,000 you should write. And uh, what is the final call money? That is 1500 into 2. Final call money 1500 into 2. 2 into 1500, 3000 rupees. So the perfected share that is adjusting amount is 12,000. We should write. For perfected share, we should write like this. Once again, I repeat how to fill up. First call, no problem. You can write 50,000 into 2, 1 lakh. And the final call also for the first entry, no problem. 50,000 into 2, 1 lakh, we can write. But what happens? One person having 1,500 shares did not pay the final call money. Therefore, 1,500 into 2, 3,000 was not received by the bank. Therefore, 97,000 we have written here. And those 1,500 shares were perfected. What is the general entry for the feature? Share capital account data to share final call account to perfected share account. I said that this is important. It depends upon the sum and the condition given. Here only final call money was not paid. Therefore, we have written to share final call account. If both the calls were not paid, then to share first and final call account. If the calls are separately given to share first call account to two share final call account, if allotment money, first call, final call, all the three are not given to share allotment account, to share first call account, to share final call account, you must try. But in this problem, only to share final call account because share final call money only was not paid for 1500 shares. Therefore, 1500 into total value. This is filling up the amount is very important. 1500 into total value of the share. Each share rupees 10. 1500 into 10, 15,000. In for 1500 shares, the final call money due was, that is not paid was, 1500 into 2, 3000. And therefore, the balancing amount, 12,000 will be the balancing figure for perfected share account. The issue, later 1200 perfected shares were reissued. It is given for reissue, I told you, for perfected only one journal entry and for reissue there are two journal entries. Totally, if the question is asked under 5 marks, for per feature one journal entry, for we issue two more journal entries, and for three journal entries we must pass. One we have passed and for we issue we are going to pass the journal entry. For we issue the money will be released, received by the bank, therefore bank account data, per feature share account data, to share capital account to share capital account narration 1200 shares perfected shares shares reissued at the rate of rupees 
Yeh, ada ekah putih, Yeh, setahun bukan dapat dibaca. How to fill this? How to fill this jam entry? For thousand two hundred shares at the rate of rupees eight, eight into thousand two hundred, nine thousand six hundred, nine thousand six hundred. But what should be the share capital? Thousand two hundred shares. In share capital, we should write the total amount. Here, thousand five hundred shares per meter. Thousand five hundred into ten. Here, thousand two hundred shares reach you. Therefore, thousand two hundred into ten, twelve thousand rupees. Twelve thousand rupees. 1000 rupees 1200 shares therefore the balancing figure will be 2400 2400 it should be the general entry for reissue once if you pass one general entry on reissue there will be definitely some gain or profit on the reissue for the gain or profit what general entry we should write for fee share account Account data to capital reserve account. Perfected share account data to capital reserve account. This is gain on reissue. Gain on reissue. How much is got? For this thousand two hundred shares, amount pending is thousand two hundred into two two thousand four hundred. Two thousand four hundred. Amount pending is amount pending is two thousand four hundred rupees. Two into thousand two hundred two thousand four hundred rupees. But Shares thousand two hundred shares were issued for nine thousand six hundred. Therefore, the profit will be seven thousand two hundred. The profit will be seven thousand two hundred. I hope how this is uh, entered. Thousand two hundred shares were issued at the rate of rupees eight. Therefore, thousand two hundred into eight nine thousand six hundred. I have written. In this share capital, what we must write thousand two hundred into ten because in share capital we should write always the total value of so many shares. Here thousand two hundred shares reissued. That was thousand two hundred into ten, twelve thousand rupees. Take up the time. Twelve thousand rupees. Okay. Then, what should be the balancing figure for the fee tax share? This is twelve thousand minus nine thousand six hundred, two thousand four hundred. And this is the permanent entry for gain or profit on breach of share. For fee tax share account, it is called the capital reserve account. How we should find it? The amount for pending for thousand two hundred shares is thousand two hundred into two two thousand four hundred rupees. This is pending. The value is the same thousand two hundred shares will reach you at the rate of rupees eight. Therefore, eight into thousand two hundred nine thousand six hundred rupees. So, how much excess the company has received? Nine thousand six hundred minus two thousand four hundred. That is seven thousand two hundred. That must be the gain or profit. That what I have written. Okay, thank you.